Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia if you're new here and today I will be teaching you how to embrace the things that you cannot change. Now I will be giving you tips on how to embrace in the physical things that you cannot change. There are, I will probably make a separate video on how to embrace the other aspects in your life that you can't change like getting in a car wreck, um, you know, maybe if you ha live in a bad uh, environment or if you spill coffee on your white blouse, like those things. Um, I will definitely talk about how to embrace or deal with those types of things that you cannot change. But today I will be giving you tips that will focus more towards fashion, beauty, uh, outward appearance, and how to embrace the things that you cannot change. Now, in embracing the things you cannot change, we all have things that we want to change about ourselves, things that we do not like, and some things we can change, but some things we cannot or we can't change at the moment, whether that's like a birthmark or um, if you are underweight or overweight. Um, with the, you know, birthmarks or scars, you can't really get rid of those. Um, but you know, if you need to change your weight like that, you can't change that in one day. <laughs> that is going to take lots of time and patience and dedication into changing. And of course, there is a laundry list of things, but those are just the two main things that I can come off with the top of my head that you would understand. But the first thing, if especially if you feel um, like you're not pretty enough or if you're not fit enough, I want you to understand this and tell yourself this in the mirror every single day. Because honestly, what you're believing, if you're believing you're not, you're not good enough or you're not pretty enough, that is the mindset that is a pressure that society has put on you. That is not the truth. That does not define you. So I want you to look yourself or tell yourself right now or look yourself in the mirror every morning and say, I was made by the one true God. There is only one of me. He has given me the ability to live out his purpose, to live out my purpose and to, to positively impact people's lives around me. You have the ability to change the world. You have the ability to change your life, the people around you, their lives. You are beautiful, you're smart, literally all, all things good. And tell yourself, even if you don't believe right now, if you tell yourself that every day, you will start to realize that that is the truth and that is what will define you. My first tip um, with those, those things, if you are not feeling very confident in yourself, um, I talked about this in a previous video, but if you think you're not attractive, or if you weren't graced with an hourglass figure or something, or if there's something you can't change, become more confident. So radiate happiness and joy and love and femininity and smile everywhere you go. You know, don't get down on the little things that might trip you up throughout the day. Give someone a compliment, let someone through in line um, to go in front of you, and people will notice that more over whatever flaw you have. Because honestly, inward beauty shines so much brighter than outward beauty, and that is what has really changed my life over the past year as I have gone through a glow up journey. I had to realize that inward beauty shines so much brighter than outward beauty. And really, I just encourage you to carry that with you through the entire day. You know, try to tell yourself that as much as possible and it will change your life, trust me. The next thing on embracing the things that you cannot change, and this is to not draw attention to it. So find ways to compliment um, something that you can't change. So like, for example, I'll take this beret out. 
We call this the Turner forehead. That's my mom's maiden name. We like to say big foreheads are a sign of royalty. So that's what we like to think. But I, and you might not think that I, you might think I have a small forehead. Um, I'm sure the makeup helps and the lighting, but honestly, like I have a lot of thinning around my hairline. I did do ballet growing up. And of course I have like two freaking moles, three, three moles. Um, I used to be so self-conscious about this. I used to be called five head growing up. Um, it was very, I feel like it was very prominent whenever I was younger because I hadn't, I didn't grow, I haven't grown into my big forehead, but now I honestly, um, but these sections right here, these are what has always got me down whenever I was trying to do, you know, pull my hair back in a ponytail. And I just learned, I cannot wish this away. I cannot grow hair here. <laughs> no matter what I try, it's just not gonna happen. Honestly, it's probably gonna get worse as I age. Um, so I just had to accept the fact that I could not pull my hair back and especially in a high ponytail like this. Now I could, and I could totally rock it, but this does not make me feel confident. It does not make me feel good. So what I had to do is I typically, whenever I do a low ponytail now because of my extensions, um, and that's another thing, <laughs> I could not grow my hair. I'll probably talk about this in another video. So I got extensions. I changed the thing that I could not change, or I, adapted to it <laughs> if i if i can put it that way so i i can't really um until i get a little bit more moolah i'll probably i don't know i sort of like the tape extensions i think it's a little bit better for my hair um but i can't do a high ponytail so i have to do a low and as you can see like this you, you get this little peekaboo of uh baldness <laughs> so what i have to do and if you deal with the same thing, this is how you overcome having a big forehead. You leave these pieces out or you can tuck it in. Whenever I go to the gym, I pull them back and I sort of do that a little bit. Um, maybe put a bobby pin, a barrette, but sometimes I do like to leave these out to make my, again, to make my forehead look a little bit smaller. Um, but I still have this. Now you can fill it in with an eyeshadow or a bronzer or powder that matches your skin tone or your, your skin tone, your hair color. <laughs> um, and I have honestly done that in the past, but I feel like if you don't have brown or black hair, it's really hard to do that. Um, but I just had to scooch these hairs back to cover that weird bald spot. And that is what I have had. <laughs> and that is what I have had to do to, you know, just overcome having a big forehead. I knew I couldn't pull my hair back in a sleek ponytail like everyone else could. I used to get so jealous of all these people that had these small foreheads and these perfectly thick hairlines that, you know, and honestly, like, um, like, you know, like a sleek bun or a sleek ponytail, like that can actually be a very dressed up glamour, glamorous hairstyle, but that just wouldn't work for me. So I just had to overcome that and just realize, okay, that I can't do that, but I can rock these little bang pieces. I can rock, um, you know, just doing different hairstyles. That is really just what it's about. Um, and something that I've learned over the <laughs> over the years now <laughs> another thing um if you feel like you have a very thick waist or if you have a small butt or like me i'm five two but i don't have long legs i have very short legs i think torso to leg ratio is about the same for me so with that i've i can't wear low-rise jeans um i have to wear a high high rise jeans and really be cautious. If you um, if you deal with the same thing, like, you know, you have thick, stocky, short legs, really be particular about the jeans that you get. The wash can really help. Um, you know, it, some jeans have fading, like a lighter to darker wash. Those really 
help slim out my legs if there's like a lighter wash right on the thigh and then around the back and the sides there's a dark wash um, that can really help slim out your legs and make them look taller especially if you have a high-waisted and you tuck your shirt up in your high-waisted pants or shorts um, that can really help elongate your legs maybe opt for some heeled shoes or some platform shoes um, that has really helped me and also sort of identify where the placing of the pockets are or how large or how small the back pockets on your jeans are because that can also um, improve, you know, whether if you have a small booty or if you want to maybe minimize your booty, like just try on different things until you find out what works for you. We are all in this journey to bettering ourselves and really just identifying what things look best on us. It is a work in progress. It will always be a work in progress, but if you are mindful of it and if you really try to work at it whenever you go shopping or when you get dressed in the morning, you will get so much closer to just feeling more you know, like you, you're confident in the things that you wear. And you know, if you have maybe like an apple, um, like an or more athletic or an apple body shape where you don't really have a lot of curves, or if you have a short torso, look into, again, like higher waisted things, but also look into getting a good collection of belts, um, belts for your jeans, belts, like thick belts for your dresses that don't go through uh, the loopholes on your on your jeans. Um, those can really help cinch in your waist and to make you look taller, have um, a more hourglass figure. All those things help really think about color blocking um, and you know what colors look slimming. We all know this, dark colors look more slimming. Um, that's just the truth. <laughs> so maybe if you want to look more um, more slim for an event, maybe opt for a navy dress or a, a black dress instead of a white. I've noticed that white, if I wear white jeans, I just feel like my legs look so much bigger than what they already are. Um, you know, it's just things suck. <laughs> Even if you think like, if you look at models or super skinny, pe super skinny people, anything like, oh my God, they could wear anything and they look good in it. But <laughs> you have to be mindful. Never cut someone down and say like, oh, well, you know, you're skinny. You'll look good in everything. You don't know what they're internally going through. I've gotten that I've gotten that a lot in my life where I just, you know, I express to my girlfriends that like, man, I just really don't feel confident in this. I, and you know, they're just like, what? You're so skinny. You're so pretty. You shouldn't have anything to worry about. And that honestly, it sort of sucks because it's like, well, you don't really know what I'm, you know, what I'm dealing with. And I don't know what you're dealing with. And I didn't say that to you. And, you know, so you just never, everyone has self-confidence issues at, at least at one point in their life so never never judge a book by its cover and always be sensitive to everyone because you don't know what they're going through you don't know how they feel about themselves that day etc etc i could go on so my next and last tip in embracing the things you cannot change now this last tip you can change these things, you can improve upon them, but they take time, they take patience. And that is, you know, whether you're wanting to get more fit, um, change some aspect in your physical health, um, whether you're wanting to lose weight, gain weight. Um, also, even like with me, if you're wanting to grow your hair, um, like all those things take time. Now, obviously, like I said, and I'll make another video on this because I know so many people struggle with, um, you know, hair loss and growing your hair. I just got extensions. If you have the money, just go ahead and do it. it you will feel so much more confident. Um, now that I do have like thick and longer hair, it does take 
it's more of a hassle to wash to dry to style um but that's just the price i had to pay to fulfill the vision that i wanted like i said i wanted to have long blonde hair because that is what looks good on me um so i just i had the money so i went and did it <laughs> and it makes me it has made me feel so much better about myself but um i have been on a weight loss fitness mainly fitness journey over the last year and the biggest thing that i had to realize um in wanting to see progress or not getting um or if i found that i was getting really sad and not seeing the progress um you have to be patient um if you see any successful person what is the difference between a person who always fails and a person who always succeeds that person who succeeds did not give up whenever they wanted to give up or when things got hard or when they failed they got right back up and they continued on and that is whenever you see progress it is when you least expect it it just you out of the blue one day you'll if you are consistent and working out eating right um you know also working on your mental health your positivity you'll just see and think one day like oh my god like i've come so far and um so if you are currently starting that journey please keep that into mind but those are things that you can change over time <laughs> those are growing your hair losing weight gaining weight you can't change that in a day sure maybe you can add on a couple pounds but that's in water and food weight in a day but you cannot um for uh long-term results and progress all of that takes time all in all i hope you found this video helpful and informational i hope it has inspired you a little bit to identify something that like hey there is something that really makes me feel insecure and i always get down about it and i know i can't change it but hey maybe there's something that i can do to help improve it or to mask it or um you know just do something to make me feel a little bit better about that and remember overall confidence and 100 percent understanding and believing that there's only one of you and you're designed for a purpose you're designed you uniquely in god's image if you believe that nothing else will matter you won't feel the need to change Again, thank you for watching this video comment down below anything if there's anything that I can maybe give you advice on or anything that you learned from this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at underscore live underscore life the same spelling as my Instagram handle but no caps thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one